road infrastructure is really important for moving people and goods around the landscape. But roads also pose a very big challenge to our ecological systems. And so the field of transportation ecology is really trying to help understand how to lessen the impacts of road on ecological systems. The Stackness works in transportation ecology to understand how people and wildlife can move across the landscape together. The impact of roads on wildlife is a pervasive problem. And the approach that Mustakis takes in collecting data, using citizen science in, um, to, to gather new information to inform highway mitigation is an approach that has a lot of potential um, to create new data and provide better information to decision makers. One of our projects is on Highway 3 and there we collected data to help uh, better decision making on how we can mitigate wildlife movement across the highway. One of our transportation ecology projects that we're working on is with Alberta Environment and Parks and it's focused on Highway 68 in Alberta. Highway 68 is a, currently a gravel road that uh, the province is thinking about paving and so we're looking at what would the impacts be to wildlife if you were to pave this section of gravel road? So Mustakis is taking the role of researching the impacts of the paved road on wildlife movement. And we're using remote cameras to do occupancy modeling and we're doing amphibian monitoring as well so that we can provide recommendations to the Alberta government on how and where they should be mitigating that highway when they upgrade it. One of the projects under the Transportation Ecology Research theme is called Roadwatch BC. And this is a, pro a project that is trying to inform where highway mitigation needs to occur to ensure the safe passage of large mammals uh, in southeastern British Columbia. And so the program enables the public to report their wildlife sightings, either collisions or adjacent, or animals successfully crossing the highway uh, through a smartphone application. And Mustakis will take that information and identify where the hotspots are for wildlife movement across the transportation corridor. We have the tools and the information available that we can help move wildlife and humans across the landscape safely together.